Hey y'all, this MK here. What's good? I just wanted to take a few minutes to encourage a few people. Just let you know that how you see your life today is not how your life is going to be tomorrow. The situations that you find yourself in right now are not going to be the situations you find yourself in tomorrow. If you've had a bad couple weeks, you're going to have a great and amazing rest of the year. See, 2018 has started off a little bit hard for some of us. I'm actually on my way to school right now. And I was thinking about this. It says in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, 11, that for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And that's why I believe the psalmist David said in Psalms 34, 19, I believe, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. You woke up today, you looked at, at your life, <laughs> you looked at your lack, whether it may be finances, whether it may be children, whether it may be school fees, whether it may be even common bread on your table. And you've asked yourself, is this how my life is going to be? God, why? You know, but he said, many are the afflictions of the righteous. The afflictions are there. You're going to go through problems. You're going to have a struggle. But it's through that struggle that you get your breakthrough. It's through that test that you have your testimony. So I want to encourage you today that your life is changing. Like you, you don't have a choice. Like your life is getting better. I want you to know that because I'm sitting here and my life is getting better. Right now, if you guys can see, I'm sitting here in this vehicle. This is a 2016 brand new car off the lot. Two months ago, I was taking bus. I was struggling with um, Mississauga Transit and Toronto Transit for y'all that live in, you know, in the GTA. Paying 375 for Mississauga Transit and 325 for TTC. And I told God, no. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. It sounds funny, but that was my affliction. I had to be at school, but there was obstacles. I had to get on the bus, but there was a financial issue. So I told God, God, I need to deliver me, change my story, change my life. And this is what he's doing. And this is what he has done. And this is what he's going to continue to do. Encourage yourself. Get up and believe that God is turning it around. Your situation is changing. Because his thoughts for you are of peace. God wants you to do well. He wants you to succeed. He wants you to be successful. He wants you to prosper. So don't let anybody, don't let your flesh, don't let no circumstance tell you otherwise. It's your day. It's your time. It's your season. And God is doing something amazing in your life. Again, this is MK. I just came here to encourage you. God bless you. See you later.